Good evening, it's Parkrun Eve and I'm sat on the hard shoulder. I've never actually been on the hard shoulder before. It's not that exciting, is it Poppy? Poppy's a bit scared in her dressing gown. <laughs> we are driving up to Scotland for Christmas. We were driving up to Scotland for Christmas. <laughs> um, I've got a flat tire and yeah. So we're just waiting for breakdown heading up to Dunbar for Christmas so going to head to Vogue Park Run tomorrow my sister needs her V and um, that is all being well as long as we get there safely this evening then that is the plan um, thank goodness for breakdown apparently Charles is on his way so <laughs> fingers crossed we'll be back on our way soon Well, it's getting dark now, but we are on our way. A huge thanks to Charles, who has just sorted us out. We are going to head north about an hour. I've just um, been calling around looking for a tyre. Um, and I found one. There's one in Newcastle, so we're heading an hour north. Going to go and sort the tyre out and then hopefully get to Scotland without too much drama. Fingers crossed. This is starting to feel like a bit of an epic parkrun adventure. It was just meant to be a trip north to family for Christmas. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, it's all good. We'll make it, I'm sure. Touch wood. <laughs> we tracked down a tyre and we made it to Quick Fit before they shut. Thank goodness. The boys are like, oh, we've got a family meal to get to. I know the feeling. <laughs> it's going to take us hours by the time we get there, but all's well that ends well. If we make it there okay, then I'll be happy and then to park run tomorrow and let family Christmas begin. pounds later we're all sorted we're back in the van about to roll they couldn't put the um the spare tire back under the car so that's the only issue we've got a van with a massive spare tire in it um that's a problem for tomorrow not going to worry about that now we're going to head to scotland let's get there and then we can sigh a great sigh of relief having finally made it i feel like all our big adventures recently have a bit of drama we could do without this drama but anyway let's get back on the road And breathe today has been chaos I can't remember if I've mentioned or not I gave blood this morning so I didn't sleep great last night and I've donated blood and had the longest journey ever so I'm so happy to finally just sort of collapse really excited for park run this morning this morning you see tomorrow morning Vogue park run cannot wait I'm gonna get sorted and get to bed I'll see you in the morning and good night. Good morning. Windy, rainy morning. We are with scale force winds. We're heading to Vogue Park Run. That's the plan. The park closes when winds are over 45 miles an hour and winds today are forecast at 43 miles an hour. So it's touch and go. Let's get in this van and hope that they're on. Oh my goodness, these Christmas lights are the best. They are making me feel so Christmassy. Look at them, and there's more than one tree. We are here, and they are on. So, the reason we're here is because Carla needs her V, so Carla is excited. V, V, is it the last one you need? No, no, no. Uh, not completing her alphabet. I've been out of chatted to the team, definitely trail shoes, but shouldn't be like too wet. I don't need waterproof socks. They seem very friendly. 
it's Carla's first 9.30 start, so she was like, oh, we're yes, a bit yes, late. Yes, yes, yes. Seven minutes past nine, we're not park running. Um, but that's we're really early. Seven we're minutes late. past nine? It's not really early. <laughs> For a 9.30 start, we're very early. So let's get out of the van and enjoy the Christmas spirit because this is these guys Christmas Park Run because they're not on Christmas Day. Had a chat to the team, they're super lovely. I'm in my Park Run dry robe, it's actually remarkably mild. There is a toilet block behind me, I don't know if you can see that. And the start is about a 500 meter walk this way. So we're just heading to the start. The finish apparently is just beyond that so we can leave things at the finish and then the cafe's that way as well so we're bringing a bag to leave at the finish with coats and things um yeah oh we're here park runs on so relieved heading to the start as people still arrive the car park is just drive in and then you pay two pounds to get out so let's get to this start Bogri Country Park, purchased in 1719. Oh, the Royal Hospital for Nervous Disorders owned the estate. And it was Scotland's second country park in 1982. Bogri Park Railway. We've been excited to see the train tracks. Although, we've got no kids with us today and I can't imagine that the train is running today. I'm assuming that that's only operational in the summer. Right, I can see a big collection of runners down here, just slightly down the hill. Everyone doing lots of warming up. I love Christmas park runs. Lots and lots of people pouring down the hill. They're going to delay the first timers just a little bit because it's so busy this morning. So the start's just here where the park run sign is. I don't know if you can see the pop up in the background. First time as is just happening here on the left and in the background you may just be able to see a yellow van that's where the finish is just down there and we just had a top tip which is we can just drop our bag off as we run past so we're just going to do that so I'm going to put my dry robe in not dry robe what is it park run thermal coat I can't remember what they're called so we just drop off the bag with all of our things once we've started park run can we run straight past it um, just wait till closer to the time. The only bit of tarmac that we've got is between the start here and the finish, which is where the yellow van is down there. But it's not flat. So we've got a big, long, kind of circular uphill. The first bit of which will be very, very wet. Quite possibly it looks like a river running down. <laughs> just depends how much drainage they've got in. Then we've got this big, long curve. And at the top of the big, long curve, you'll find the first marshal point, roughly 1k. Then you're getting into the start of a very narrow path, almost single file really, and across a wee slippery um, concrete bridge, probably about that way. Sharp turn left and you're into a wooded section. So the wooded section is really lovely, runs down by the main road. Then we get to the end of that section, a little bit of downhill, you're right beside the road, and then a sharp turn left to a hill like that. <laughs> However, the hill only lasts about that length, so you're okay. Uh, but it's so steep up that if you're a slower runner, you'll see the faster runner kind of running above your head. Yeah, oh, amazing. If you're a faster runner, I have no idea what you see. <laughs> that takes us into a funny little out and back loop on the course, and so that's about 2k out of the woods and into the field, drop down, slippy like, like this, um, a big long right hand curve and a drop down. I'm told this morning that's very, very slippy. And then a sharp uphill, a sharp left turn, a little bit of down section to the last corner in the course, which we call Pam's Corner. So Pam's Corner, you'll recognise because it's a corner, there's a woman there called Pam. <laughs> saying, Hi Pam, Merry Christmas. She'll love that. And there's a dirty great big sign saying Pam's Corner. Okay? When you get there for the first time, you know you are very close to the end of the first circuit. When you get to the end of the first circuit, you'll see the finish line. Do not go through the finish line on the first lap. Take a very, very sharp left turn. Same posted, Marshall, a very sharp left turn. 
and that drops you back down to put the yellow van is back down onto the course to do exactly the same circuit. Yeah. So the circuit is down here, up a little hill, to the left, along the wooded section, down by the road, up the hill, turn right, do the double, <laughs> back in yourself, down the hill, up the hill, turn left, down the hill, palms corner. That's you on your second lap now, and then run for the run for the finish, or walk for the finish, or crawl to the finish. And run <laughs> Yay! Starting with a thank you for volunteers. Yay, chocolates for the team. We've added ours to the table. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. First of all, we have Peter, who's doing his 50th run today. Yay. Oh, look, he's in a Christmas hat right at the back. Congratulations. Okay, um, conditions today are a little bit wet, a little bit slippery. A few loose branches round about. When you go down the grassy hill, just watch your footing there. If you've got trail shoes, you'll probably be okay. Still welcome today is Chris. Hello, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Oh, dressed as Santa, loving it. We go, lots and lots and lots of runners. Oh, lots of runners jumping jackets. That is very, very handy to run past the finish. <laughs> Here we go. Bag jumps at the finish. That was definitely a top tip. Oh, there is a steep sort of gully at the edge of the path to mind out for. <laughs> really appreciating fellow fancy dress. Really lovely trail section through the trees. We're going to stay together. Sisters Park running. V. V, getting our V. I think it's my third V. What have we done? Volksgarten in Germany and Vandeleur in Ireland. Um, can't think that I've done anymore. But yeah, Carla's first bee. So it's still dry at the moment, and actually it's not too windy. So super pleased we're getting to run. I don't think, in all the commotion of like getting here and being tired and not having enough sleep, that I've done all the usual things. So, as we heard in the first time is welcome, Two lap anti-clockwise trail run in Vogue Country Park here in Midlothian as the rain starts. Scotland Shire. Yeah. As the rain starts to fall. Mm. Turning left at the first Marshall Point. Didn't quite turn the camera on in time. So we were taking a selfie with our fancy dress. It's muddy but it's not too bad. Running here through the trees. The course description did sound pretty complicated. Looking forward to getting to Pam. Feel like when I get to Pam's corner, I'll know where I am. <laughs> That's the end of the lap. I've lost Carla. <laughs> She's like, can we walk? And that is quite a long slog uphill. We're getting downhill and flat now, but I need to at least run the first mile for my run streak so that I know that I've done a mile. I think I saw a permanent marker park run sign. I'm going to check that out on the second lap. I wasn't quite next to it and then I'd run past and it wasn't convenient to go back, but I'm going to check. I'm like scanning for any others, like a wooden post with a park run logo. I found one, I found another one. Look at that park run sign, that's so cool. Running a little section here along the road before going left heading back into the park and I can hear a cheery marshal with a noise maker. I do love, what are these things even called that make clicks as they go round? Um, I'm a big big fan of uh, cowbells and noise makers. Ah this is the bit where we can see the faster runners on the top section. The park run with the noise maker is over there. We'll be there in a minute. Thank you so much. Thank you. Make a good one. 
Christmas music, loving that. Oh, Carla just said Christmas corner. So out to do a loop. Coming back along there where those runners are now. Just a really little loop. Thank you so much, Marshall. Oh, and another permanent park run sign. I think this bit has to be my favourite. Oh, I've got a phone in my hand. I want the high five. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. That then. Heading towards the noise. This is a lovely park run. I've no idea where I am. You know those courses where you just wiggle and wiggle and wiggle. Thank you so much. What is the name of that noisemaker? What are they called? It's a clacker, of course it is. If that's not the official name, post below. But that sounds good to me, a clacker. Gotta love a cowbell or a clacker. <laughs> Onto a grassy section, but super dry underfoot. Really nice surface. To be fair, I think you would have been all right so far not in trail shoes. If you've got trail shoes, it's definitely a trail shoe course. I can see on this gate post, another permanent park run sign. They are awesome. <laughs> the, the park run logo just fills my heart with joy. Yay, thank you. Very good, Elf. <laughs> Merry Christmas, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna just head to the side of it. it. Looks a little bit drier. Thank you. And then, oh, another permanent parkman sign. I might walk up here to wait for this Christmas tree because it can't be far behind me. Awesome run, front runners coming through. Incredible as we head downhill. So he has just about finished Pam's Corner. Yay, thank you. Merry Christmas, Pam. Thank you. So now we know we're nearly at the end of the lap. The only problem with the fancy dress is that I am boiling, absolutely boiling. Right, heading towards the yellow van. I can see that, so we're heading left for our second lap and then is the finish straight ahead all right let's go find out oh wow well this is gorgeous heading towards Bogui house there in fact look the finish straight is just directly towards Bogui house that is stunning amazing course design thank you oh second finisher going in there and we're heading down here. So beginning our second lap, as the rain starts to get a little bit heavier. <laughs> I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to film today because of the rain. And it's always a shame where you go somewhere that's completely new to you and super exciting, then you can't film. We've been pretty lucky. I'm gonna put the camera away now because the second lap is identical to the first. And I'll see you near the finish unless something amazing happens. I will just show you though, there is an incredible adventure playground right by the start. So if you're running with kids or bringing kids that don't want to run, they could be playing there. The lady in front of us might get a Christmas PB. We're like, go, go, go. So this is the finish straight Christmas tree in front of me. The beautiful house behind her. What a stunning finish. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, tokens. One, two, nine. So it was a busy one for them. It is unbelievably warm. I'm so hot. So 129. I'm going to go and see the scanners. Look at the house behind. It's such a lovely finish. So I'm going to get my barcode and my watch again. I'm so excited about it. I don't know. They'll reach a point which I'm no longer excited about it, but I'm not there yet. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Scanners. You remarked on how quick the QR code was. Absolutely. Yay! I'm so excited about it. Right. So, token in the bucket. I only got it on last week. So I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm like, oh, check me out with my QR code. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, Tails. Well done, guys. <laughs> Tails are in. Everyone having their photos with the sign. Apparently, um, Park Run Coffee, Post Park Run Coffee, is in. This bit is really muddy. <laughs> this is the muddiest bit of the course. Um, the coffee is inside the house. We get to go in the house. We're excited about that. And 20% off if you say that you're a Park Runner. Oh my goodness. And the entrance, I'm loving. Look at that. Let's go for post park run coffee. It just has to be a quick one today because we don't have kids. Thank you. Oh, look. I love it. It's gorgeous in here and it's full of park runners. We're in the cafe. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Amazing hot chocolate and a 20% park run discount. We were just saying. Cafes that do a park run discount are just so good and it really does entice you into the cafe. So we're going to drink our hot chocolates, have a quick look at the front of the house again and then head back to the kids. We're lovely and warm from the cafe, saying goodbye to the beautiful house and heading back to the car park. It's pretty heavy rain now. We were very lucky. Thank you Park Run Weather Fairies. That was a lot better than I was expecting when I saw the forecast. Huge thanks to Gillian and her amazing team, especially photographer Mike. He was super friendly and welcoming. And I tried to do a jump photo. Mike says he thinks he got it. So <laughs> I'll have a look at that when it's online later. Yeah, really lovely, friendly park run and a great one for tourists to get your V. There are some amazing sculptures in the park. This giant bike and there's some chairs. So these look awesome. I think there's 14 miles of trail that you can check out look at that <laughs> i love it there's some really cool absolutely ginormous chairs actually that could be a throne you could watch the start of park run from there and the finish hang on i didn't do the same and there's some really cool wooden sculptures i don't know if this is a bench or just a sculpture. It's awesome either way. The grounds here are super cool. There's so much to do. Just an awesome place to bring children. A bit sad our children didn't want to come with us today, but they've not seen their Mima, my mum, for ages. So it's nice for them to have some time with her. But yeah, loads to explore. Definitely worth having a little walk around. This park runs about six and a half years old. So it's really nice to come to these events that been around in Park Run World a long time and it feels like I should have visited way before now. So yeah, lovely to explore and finally get here. Huge thanks for watching the video, all of the usual things. Give it a like, subscribe for more running adventures. Oh, hopefully the weather will allow me to film Christmas Day Park Run. So it's Saturday today, Christmas on Monday. Cannot wait. Double dose of Park Run. That's why this time of year is amazing. So I will see you then. Until then. Take care, happy running.